understanding a thread group so what this is and say how we can use it in jmeter let us just see that so over here in jmeter what we would be doing is we would be right clicking over this and we would be adding a thread as you can see that it is specified over here as well that as users so a thread group is something which replicates users specifically virtual users so it is a group of virtual users you can specify the number of users you would want to have for example you can specify them over here what is the ramp up period so the ramp up period is something which lets you know that what is the time in which the all users would be uh, say starting for example i specified 10 users here right now if i specify the ramp up time as 10 seconds right so it would be starting one user every second if i specify 100 seconds then it would be starting one user every 10 seconds right if it specified say 1000 seconds so over here it would be starting one user every 100 seconds right so this means that 10 users would be sp say spread it over the 1000 seconds timeline right now the next thing that is loop count so loop count is something which lets us know that how many times the same thing uh, needs to be executed right so we can specify the loop count right now it is kept as one so we would be keeping it as one only now the next thing that is delay thread creation until needed the, this option is used whenever we need to delay the thread creation whenever like you know say if, if it is not needed then the thread won't be created right Apart from that, there is an option that we skipped, that is action to be taken after a sampler error. So sampler some, is something which replicates user action if it fails. So whether we would want to continue to the next sampler or we would want to stop the thread execution and start the next loop or we need to stop the thread completely or even we need to stop the test. So we can do everything we need. Stop test now stops the test, but it allows the samples to be executed which were already con uh, executing right stop test stops everything now let us just see that practically here i would be adding a sampler i'll name this as google home and i'll quick quickly provide some data say https www.google.co.in and port number is 443 right so this is our Google Home request. Now over here, if I do something, I'll add a listener and I'll just do something. I'll specify the number of users as two, ramp up period as zero. They would be started immediately. Loop count as one. So you would notice that the same sampler is getting executed twice, right? Google Home. Now you can see that thread group one of two, thread group one of one this means that there are two users executing the same thing right and you can see the number of users as well thread group one and the user number is one thread group one user number is two this is the first thing now if i specify the loop count as two as well so what would happen let us just see that over here and over here if i execute it now you would see that there are four samplers executing thread group one two this is the second uh, user this is the first user again this is a second user and this is the first user so the things are getting executed right now I can specify more things as well for example I would want to specify one user only and I would want to have say six users then the same sample would be executed for all the six users and you would notice that here these are getting executed and you would notice that thread group 1 hyphen 1 is specified everywhere if i add the new users then these would be specified over there now let me just add something that is let me just add a new sampler and we would be having three samplers first one is google home and second one is google search and here we would be making a mistake so what mistake we would be making say i would be specifying something over here i won't be specifying the url i just forgot to specify the url right and instead of this google home i would be naming this as amazon home and i'll just change the url to www.amazon.com
dot in right in google search i'll just change the name to this that is faulty now whenever we run this particular sampler this would fail because of there is no server address specified and if i run this you can see that this is getting executed it is executing in a loop as we have specified the execution time to be six times right but if you notice the faulty sampler is getting executed now after that amazon home is also getting executed and we have specified the option as continue what if i choose this option start next read loop now if i run this you can see that it is executing and amazon home is not getting executed after faulty sampler the, the thread is stopping this is about the loop right what if i choose the option stop thread now if i run this you would notice that there are there would be only two samplers executed one of them would be failing and one of them would be success right other samplers are not getting executed the reason is that the the loop has been stopped completely right now the next thing that is stop test and stop test now these work same over here in this particular scenario but this works whenever there are multiple thread groups and there are multiple users right so you would be able to see that in that particular scenario only and you can try this yourself and you'll get to know about it that how it is working so this was about this and thank you